Right, let's save it here. We need to go and speak to all of our peoples. We'll start off with this person. Needs more ah! The crowd. Lord Chancellor de Leon, he's just a... He was a trainer. I really just want to speak to my... Oh, there's Iron Bull. Inquisitor! Come, have a drink. To killing a high dragon like warriors of legend. Yes. Drink. <coughs> oh. <laughs> I know, right? Put some chest on your chest. <laughs> that little gurgle right before it spat fire. And that roar. What I wouldn't give to roar like that. The way the ground shook when it landed. The smell of the fires burning. Tarsidathan Halsam. You know, Kunari hold dragons sacred. Well... As much as we hold anything sacred. <laughs> Here, your turn. What was that canary phrase? That thing you just said. You shouted it during the fight, too. What does it mean? Oh, Tarsadathan Halsam. Closest translation would be I will bring myself sexual pleasure later while thinking about this with great respect. What a phrase. You shouted that while it was breathing fire at us. I know, right? <laughs> awesome. I will bring myself sexual gratification later. <laughs> yes, the second cup's easier. Most of the nerves in your throat are dead after the first one. Atashi, the glorious ones. That's our word for them. Atashi. Why are dragons sacred? Why do you think the Kunari think of dragons that way? Well, you know how we have horns. We kind of look more dragony than most people. Maybe it's that. But a few of the Ben Hasrath have this crazy old theory. See, <clears throat> the Tamasrans control who we mate with. They breed us for jobs like you'd breed dogs or horses. What if they mixed in some dragon a long time ago? Possibly. Maybe drinking the blood, maybe magic, I don't know. But something in that dragon we killed... <sighs> ...spoke to me. Did they say bend over? I'm sorry we had to kill it. It's a shame we had to kill the dragon. Damn good fight. Dragons are the embodiment of raw power. But it's all uncontrolled. Savage. So, they need to be destroyed. Taming the wild. Order out of chaos. <laughs> Have another drink. Let's drink to extinction. <laughs> nice. To dragons! <coughs> to good fights. To finding the biggest, baddest things in the world and showing them that we're badder. Come <laughs> mortal. I'm out my head. Right, that went well. Although I don't think it was asking Iron Bull about his personal quest, really. Again. Again. <laughs> the best way to train. Uh, come on. This is why the Kuhn doesn't like women fighting. I should have asked Cullen. Uh, nice one, Cassandra. Uh, Perhaps you can take over. Kunari training exercise to master your fear. 
I heard about the nightmare at Adamant. Sounded big. All right. There we go. Oh, yeah. Right in the balls. Demon. Who's stuck in the fade, huh? <laughs> That's right, let it out. You fought in that siege. Every demon at Adamant wanted to tear you in half. I bet, you demon assholes. And who killed you? That's right. High on fucking ball. I like this guy. He's actually hilarious. Oh, oh, I needed that. Thanks, boss. Anytime. You like it rough. Not a problem. Feeling better. And that works for you? <sighs> yep. <sighs> Alright then. Whatever floats your boat. Who am I to judge? Oh there, sir. Well, sweetie Cassandra. I don't think Cassandra likes us much. Everything we Writing do, she seems to disapprove. Naturally to me. As I'm certain you can imagine. Love poetry? Let me guess, you're composing a love poem. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't, not even if my life depended on it. It's not that hard. Yes, it is. Poetry takes finesse, it takes grace. You think you don't have those things? I think she does. Historians will one day ask what happened at Adamant Fortress in the Fade. I wasn't there, but others were. Their accounts must be recorded. Good idea. It's an excellent idea, Cassandra. I certainly thought so, until I started writing. I still don't know what to say about the spirit of the Divine. The Chantry teaches us that the souls of the dead pass through the Fade, so it could have been her, yet even so. Is it possible? Do you really think it might have been her? A ghost? A ghost. A remnant of her hopes and memories. Her lingering will to do good. Those things are all possible. Nobody knows for certain what happens after we die. A spirit could have assumed her form, but why? It helps you, as Justinia herself would have. Yeah, maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it just is. We'll never know. Perhaps it doesn't matter what she really was then. It matters to me, to what I must write. I wish I'd seen her, seen it. I feel so inadequate trying to interpret. I do think it was her though. I believe it was the Divine. She helped us one last time. I hope that's true. I want to believe it. It seemed different from a spirit. When they told me you were physically in the Fade, I was terrified for you. The last time such a thing happened, we created Darkspawn. We created Corypheus. The world needs to know the truth this time. No more legends lost to the ages. Where the hell she brought us? There's a book upstairs though. Oh look, that's the book Way of the Templar. That's the book we needed if we wanted to become a Templar. That's pretty funny. I can keep staring at this, but I won't get any closer. Can I help? Something I can help you with? Yes. Possibly. We saw so many Red Templars at the assault on Haven. Perhaps all that was left of the Order. What we didn't see was Lord Sika Lucius. Indeed, 
I've seen no hint of any Seekers amongst the Red Templars, or anywhere. I have a growing suspicion Corypheus has imprisoned them. This is important to you. Finding them obviously means a lot to you. I left the Order, but I can never abandon them. I cannot even claim that rescuing them would be beneficial. They wouldn't look kindly on the Inquisition. But even so, if there's a chance... We'll look if for them. If we can spare resources to follow up on these leads, Inquisitor, I would appreciate it. Consider it done. That sounds like a war table operation. It in fact is. Well, tell you what. Let's save it here. Let's see if we can do them, and then we'll go and speak to people since we've been teleported here. You know what I mean? I don't know where I want to spend this point, so we'll just leave it for now. Right, let's turn in these quests. Alliances forging a way forward, sigil of the Gamordan Stormrider. I will not turn my back on them, but we have established agreements with... Initial hatred of the Inquisition was a device, and they are willing to have us in their favour. Good. Right, let's get everybody else back. Revenge of the Merchant's Guild. Two points. That book is abysmal. In the entire code breaking department wants to ritually set it on fire. The message is double encrypted. The message in mistake is a Merchant's Guild cipher. We have not yet broken the Guild's code. Superb amulet of willpower. Nice. Right, we're looking for... What was it called? Locate the missing seekers. Here we go. Right. Someone must have seen Someone's these seekers, or given them a safe harbour. Entice them with a reward. The seekers may, may have many secret hideaways according to Cassandra. That's where we should search, Inquisitor. definitely. Send her on that, that's going to keep her happy. Red Templars. Oh, we might as well get that. Reports indicate that the Red Templars have taken over an old dwarven fort on the Storm Coast, granting them a foothold in Ferelden. We do not want to draw attention too soon. My agent will find a way to enter the stronghold without alerting the Red Templars. Do that. New area. Happy days. Revenge of the Merchants Guild. This is still Varric's quest. Oh well, we have to use her. Inquisitor. Excellent. And that's everybody, isn't it? Or maybe not. Inspire. If I know the Lord Chancer, he'll want a roast boar stuffed with apples that the guest hunt and kill for themselves. Okay. They want you to conquer you in battle and in your bedroom. You're a legend of dream. You make them forget their troubles, the war and the torn sky. That is what they need from you most of all. You must bring good cheer to them. I think Cullen's going to sort this right out. To work. A nice hog roast. Excellent. So they'll get completed while... We're going to speak to our teammates. I am going to make sure all of our teammates are spoken to this episode. We'll speak to Josephine. And what else did Lady Forsythia say? That she'd rather drown herself than help the Inquisition. Anything else? She said she'd have us flogged alive if we allied with her brother. That does sound like her. Cheer up, Josie. We at least have our attention. You always do find the brighter side of things. We are in the midst of cementing an alliance with Lady Forsythia of Nevara, your worship. Cool. It's become a somewhat delicate task. Can I aid you in this? Can I do anything to help negotiations? Thank you, but I believe I have matters in hand. I dissuaded her from sending soldiers when she learned we'd struck an accord with a brother she's feuding with. 
Lady Forsythia simply employs a colorful manner of speech. Oh, it doesn't wear on you. Dealing with so many demanding, strong-willed people can't be easy. It's no less intense than my days at court, Inquisitor, I assure you. But I confess I do miss my staff from the Embassy in Antiva. It was always useful to discuss the day's visitors with them. How about you discuss them with me? I have time, if you'd like to review things with me. I wouldn't wish to impose. If you it won't. were imposing, I wouldn't have offered. Well, I admit, there are a few potential alliances it would be good to discuss. Very nice. Right on the parlor floor. In front of everyone at the soiree. Who does such a thing in front of their guests? The Duke of Kellington, apparently. And then there's calls lurking. It frightens our guests half to death. Lord Genar still won't respond to our letters. And Sarah, can she not find a single overshirt with that mustard stains on it? <laughs> then there's Dorian. The man refuses to take anything seriously unless it suits its whim. Not to mention... Oh, oh goodness. Have we been here an hour already? Bedrooms in the back. A bit more than that. Actually, I didn't think about it. It went by so quickly, I didn't even notice. You're far too polite. I didn't intend to go on for so long. You must think me quite the gossip. I think you're wonderful. Spending time with such an engaging woman is never unpleasant, Lady Montelier. Goodness. I'm... Well, I'm, I'm glad I haven't wasted your day. Well, I've taken up quite enough of your time already. Until next time. Is there anything better than chatting up the secretary? I don't think there is. This is the main quest line, chatting up the secretary. Everything else is super... I wish I knew this word. Superfluous to the... the task. What is this? Where the hell am I? This castle's so big, I get lost easily. Okay, do you think she's got anything else to say? I mean, she's not technically one of our followers, but she is quite important. Inquisitor, is it true? Is the mark on your hand magic cast by Corypheus? It is. He has claimed it's a spell gone wrong. I wanted to think it was a blessing. A sign the Maker was returning to his creation. How credulous of me. I think magic not holy. It could be the Maker's will though. If you believe in such a thing. Perhaps the Maker set these events in motion so long ago we can no longer see his hand in them. It would be fitting if that were true. Does it hurt? The anchor, that is. I'll be fine. It looks strange, but it hasn't done me harm. If it did come from Corypheus, that's a small mercy. Okay, so that's what we're trying to get. When we speak to our companions, we want to get to it so they don't, like, have a cutscene. I think Varric's here. There's the big boy. I told them the offer was the best we could... I knew Stroud, you know, not well. He saved Hawk's little sister from the blight. So it was him. I thought it was that guy. Not many people knew who he was, but the man was a hero when it mattered. He wasn't the first good man to fall to Corypheus. He won't be the last. His story's no good for heroes. At least Hawk survived. You must be glad that Hawk made it back in one piece. Yeah, closest thing I've ever seen to a miracle there. Oh, Hawk asked me to tell everyone back in Kirkwall where he's going. I'll have to let Merrill know. I'd better write some letters. Excuse me. If, in all honesty, on the decision to save Strouder Hawk, 
I, I, I probably always was going to save Hawk. But, Varric, I want you to know, I did it all for you, bro. Bro, it was all for you. Sorry, I really need to write some letters. Another okay. Time. That's good, so Varric's done. Who is below us? I don't know. Vivienne. I don't know where she is. Let's go and see Cullen. The, the thing is though, Vivienne's probably the person that dislikes us the most because we always go against what she likes. I think she's a bit of an idiot to be honest. I don't think she's got... her, her views are so backwards. She's, she's an idiot. I can't, I can't see where she's coming from most of the time, but she's a mug. We need to try and get her on our, on our side because I've seen so many disapprovals from her, it's insane. As leader of the Inquisition, you... There's something I must tell you. Tell me anything. Whatever it is, I'm willing to listen. Right. Thank you. Lyrium grants Templars our abilities, but it controls us as well. Those cut off suffer. Some go mad, others die. We have secured a reliable source of Lyrium for the Templars here. But I no longer take it. Good. You stopped when I joined the Inquisition. It's been months now. Tell me why, though. Why are you doing this? After what happened in Kirkwall, I couldn't. I will not be bound to the Order or that life any longer. Whatever the suffering, I accept it. But I would not put the Inquisition at risk. I've asked Cassandra to... watch me. If my ability to lead is compromised, I will be relieved from duty. Are you okay though? Are you in pain? I can endure it. I don't... thing is though, I can't make an informed decision on this because I don't understand the consequences. Can he die without Lyrium? I respect your decision in this. Thank you for telling me. I respect what you're doing. Thank you, Inquisitor. The Inquisition's army must always take priority. Should anything happen, I will defer to Cassandra's judgment. Hmm. Let me have a look at this. Cullen. Lyrium. I need to be more informed. Can he can he die? Or, or not? It, obviously, if, if he can die, I don't want him to die, but that's just feeding his drug habit. So, apparently, as a Templar, once you start taking Lyrium, um, obviously it, it, it's like a drug. You will suffer withdrawals when you come off it, but it doesn't lead to death. So I think Cullen's going to be okay. I would prefer him off it, to be honest, because people can get massive lyrium addictions. But right, let's speed up again to see if anything else happens. First the Templars, now the no. Grey Wardens. Both devoted their lives to fighting evil. Now they serve it. They weren't willing, though. Not by choice. They were manipulated by Corypheus. I'm not sure that's a comfort. The Inquisition must serve as an example. We must stand where others fall. Anything I should know? Is there anything I should know? I'm glad to have the charges on our side. Bull's men are professionals, despite evidence to the contrary. That's all. That's all for now. Another time, then. Good stuff, good stuff. Aha! This is the shortcut into the library! Solas, we'll speak to him. This guy's a bro, this guy loves what we do. I cannot believe the Grey Wardens could even conceive of such a plan. Apart from that. Seek out these old gods <laughs> deliberately, 
in some bizarre attempt to preempt the blight. To see out the old gods' liberty in some bizarre attempt to preempt the blight. It was a good idea, though. How many lives were lost during the last blight? Corypheus notwithstanding, I don't blame the Wardens for acting instead of reacting. They acted stupidly. By trying to end the blight forever? Yes. Would it have worked? Do you know? Did they? Do the you know? The who first unleashed the blight upon this world thought they were unlocking ultimate power. Forgive me. The entire idea is... unnerving. We are going to have to agree to disagree there because I agree Greetings. with the... Let's Ninja get through this conversation. I don't. I just want to see if it unlocks anything. He must see or lay destroyed utterly by whatever means possible, not merely thrown into chaos. You're certain? You're sure that's what he'll do? As certain as is possible, assuming I can plausibly predict a man who seeks to rise to godhood. And can you? The key is understanding this: no real god need prove himself. Anyone who tries is mad or lying. His deception will undo him. As it has done countless fools before. What can you tell me about the source of Corypheus's power? According to the law, the ancient magistars of the Vinter received guidance from the old gods. Corypheus commands a false archdemon, a corrupted old god. Ah. It suggests he no longer sees himself as their minion. It's Some not of an archdemon. power comes from the corruption of the blight. The rest may come from the orb he carries. We'll talk. Goodbye. Yeah, the thing with Solas is we, we we he likes. I think Solas likes what we do with the mages, but he doesn't like our thoughts on Grey Warden and things. I think the Grey Warden. I think you need them. At the end of the day, if another blight comes, they're the only ones that can help. If you lose the rituals of the Grey Wardens, it's game over. Sup, my brother. You have remarkably little here on early to winter history. Or not into Vinter. All these gifts to the Inquisition, and the best they can do is the Malefica Imperio. Trite propaganda. But if you want 20 volumes on whether Divine Galatea took a shit on Sunday, this is evidently the place to find it. What are you looking for? If I knew what you were looking for, I could help you. Ha! <laughs> you? I rather doubt that. I'm well educated. <sighs> I apologize. That was unworthy. Did I see something by Genitivi here? Ah! What is this Brother about? Brother Genitivi! What else could it be about? What happened at Adamant, of course. We went into the Fade. Physically went in. Are you... All right? Yeah, I'm all right. I learned so much. Yeah. Brother Genitivi, he was from Dark Souls... Dark Souls 2. <laughs> he definitely wasn't from that. He was from Mayhem um, Dragon Age 2. Part of the one of the main quests. Oh no, no, oh, no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was from Dragon Age Origins. It was from the Urn of Sacred Ashes quest. I learned so much. I learned a surprising amount. What happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, for one? Regained your memories. That's good, then. I think so. You do realise... This feat hasn't been performed in over a thousand years. Corypheus and his contemporaries entered the Fade and began the Blights. In comparison. I should be proud. So, I should be happy I accomplished something so grand. Concerned, more like. If you can walk in the Fade, others will try to follow. Who knows what secrets Corypheus has revealed? Not all of them will be as lucky as you. What they could unleash. My advice? Keep this quiet. Let them speculate. Too many will see this as a challenge. I do agree, actually. If too many people find out that you can physically walk through the Fade, as opposed to just spiritually, it's gonna. a lot of people will see that as a challenge and I'll attempt it. Probably to... Their detriment. That's a good idea. There are enough idiots in the world who think if they just use enough blood magic, their problems will vanish. 
It's exactly the sort of thing I want to stop back home. This, this I don't need. What I do need is a copy of the Liberalum. I'll wager I can find Corypheus' real name. If I can prove he was a grasping ankle biter with no family to speak of, the luster would come right off. Wish me luck. Can I help you with that? War table operation? Yes! The name of our enemy, war table operation. Anything interesting? A letter regarding Felix, Alexius's son. He went to the Magisterium, stood on the Senate floor and told them of you. A glowing testimonial, I'm informed. Excellent. No news on the reaction, but everyone back home is talking. Felix always was as good as his word. Was? He's dead. Ah? Huh? The Blight caught up with him. Ah. Sorry for your loss. I know this guy was quite close to him. Are you alright? He was ill, and thus on borrowed time anyhow. That doesn't mean you can't regret his death. I know. Felix used to sneak me treats from the kitchens when I was working <laughs> late in his father's study. Don't get into trouble on my behalf, I tell him. I like trouble, he'd say. Tevinter could use more mages like him. Those who put the good of others above themselves. Follow his example. He should be an example for others to follow, or his death is wasted. Should I spread the word? We could spawn the cult of Felix within a matter of days. There are worse things. Probably true. And you're right. His actions should not be forgotten. Thankfully, Felix wasn't the only decent sort kicking around Thedas. Why, thank you, good sir. May and Dorian are bros. I'm told you have Alexius researching magic for you. Research is always what made him happiest. Perhaps I'll even go talk to him eventually. Feel free. One word of advice. If he suggests altering time as a way to solve all your problems, give it a pass. You said Alexius was a mentor of yours. He was my patron, sponsoring me to the higher levels of the Circle of Magi. In return, my successes were his. Ah, so he was riding off the back of your successes. Naturally. Alexius was most pleased. He and I used to talk over Brandy about the corruption. And then he... gave up. Why? He stopped trying. Why did he give up? On a journey to Hosburg, a darkspawn raid killed his wife and sickened his son. I remember hearing the news. And that's why he wanted to travel through time. Alexius was convinced he could have protected them. And the guilt tore him up. I helped him with his research for a while and then we drifted apart. You both gave up. Sounds like he wasn't the only one who gave up. I told him to snap out of it, move on. I thought I had all the answers. Later, I regretted my hasty words. But we didn't speak again until he approached me for the Venatori. Too much pride, I suppose. Plus, I was busy drinking. One must have priorities. Did you miss him? Was it hard being away from him? At any rate, he's fallen so low, I doubt he'll ever get up. Sad, really. That's enough. Try not. Right. We're getting through these guys slowly but surely. I don't need to speak to her. Liliana should be up here. Inquisitor. I... I have been thinking. You remember everything now, yes? The explosion at Haven. The fade. Escaping the breach. In your report, you said Justinia was with you, but only you emerged in the end. 
Why? Why were you the only survivor? She saved me. She knew it was either her or me. And she wanted me to live. Of course. Of course she did. That's just like her. Her message to me. I failed you too. I'm not sure I understand what that means. Did you say anything else? Anything at all? Please, if you remember. She didn't. I'm sorry, Liliana. That was it. There are no answers in the fate. Only illusions. A warped mirror. Justinia has never failed me. I was her left hand. Now she's dead. I failed her. That's pretty brutal, to be honest. He could be right, because we don't... Re it's tempted to think that it was a ghost, but at the same time, if she really was the Divine... Maybe it was her. Where's Lilia? Oh, there she is, praying. Your open support for the mages likely earned you enemies. Our agents will monitor the situation. If the most opposed can be identified, we may still turn this to our advantage. I'm always looking to gain. You're always looking for some way to benefit. Oh, I didn't want to sit. It's what I'm here for. Re that's not, that's, that's, see, see, that's not what I wanted to say. What I actually wanted to say is, I am always looking to gain. I want, I, I like her plan. I don't think I've ever really disagreed with anything Liliana's done. Your open support for the mages. Our a if the most opposed can be identified, we may still turn this to our advantage. I'm not afraid. People can hate me if they wish. That gets us nowhere. The Inquisition is young. Regardless, I applaud you for the courage to stand up for the mages. The Divine's death hit you hard. How have you been feeling? Oh, you are referring to my outburst in the Haven. I... I am much better now. Justinia was such a dear friend and there were so many things going wrong. Sometimes... I was there. We won the day. When the Divine... I, I was angry. I felt betrayed. But I shouldn't have let my emotions get the better of me. Don't apologize. Thank you. Now, enough of this. Let us think more pleasant thoughts. I don't want to beast through this. That they did? What of it? It's just a thought. None of this will be possible if we fail. I'm so am I. I watched, had an ear to every door. I identified threats, and I dealt with them. So you were her spy master too. I handled difficult situations that couldn't be resolved. We'll talk. Right, there we go. Beasted through that dialogue. I don't think we've got anything out of that. Um, I've got to find. Where is Vivienne? Black walls in the stables, I know that. Iron bull. Oh, Sarah's in the thing. Right. I've got no idea how to get a Vivienne. Vivienne's there. I don't know, I don't know. Oh, I know where Vivienne is. Inquisitor? Ah, Mother Gazelle. Vraiment. My Lord Inquisitor, it's good of you to speak with me. I have news regarding one of your companions, the Tevinter. What's he done? Uh, has Dorian done something wrong? No, thankfully. It's nothing like that. I have been in contact with his family. House Pavas, out of Carinas. Are you familiar with them? They're not on good terms. 
He's mentioned his family. They don't appear to be on good terms. Yes. I believe you're correct. The family sent a letter describing the estrangement from their son and pleading for my aid. They've asked to arrange a meeting quietly without telling him. They fear it's the only way he'll come. Since you seem to be on good terms with the young man, I'd hoped... What kind of meeting? Just what kind of meeting do you have in mind? I believe they just want to talk, to understand why Dorian felt he had to come here. Somewhere private, away from Skyhold, but not in Tevinter. You make them nervous, I think. They don't understand why he's here with the Inquisition. They want him to come home. And what if he doesn't agree? What happens if Dorian doesn't agree? Hopefully that will be the end of it. If not, well, that's why you should be there. I don't, I'm not going to trick my mate. If you think I'm going to trick Dorian into meeting his family. Oh, I feared you might say that. The family will send a retainer to meet the young man at the Red Cliff Tavern, to take him onward. If he truly does not wish this reunion, he can always end the matter there. I pray you change your mind, Inquisitor. Perhaps their letter will persuade you. If there is any chance of success in this, it behooves us to act. Ah. I understand that you feel inadequate to the task of bringing Dorian to a secret meeting. Okay. Let's go and see Dorian. We can fast travel up there, which is good. Yeah, I'm not tricking me bro. I'll, I'll tell him about it because I know he's got issues with his family. Dorian, where are you? What's on your mind? Your father sent a letter. Dorian, there's a letter you need to see. A letter? Is it a naughty letter? A Could humorous be. proposal from some Antivan dowager? Not quite. It's from your father. From my father? I see. And what does Magister Hallward want, pray tell? A meeting. Show me this letter. I know my son. What my father knows of me would barely fill a thimble. This is so typical. I'm willing to bet this retainer is a henchman hired to knock me on the head and drag me back to Tevinter. I won't let him. That would be hard to do while I stood there. He expects me to travel with Mother Giselle, although Maker knows why he'd think I would. Let's go. Let's meet this so-called family retainer. If it's a trap, we escape and kill everyone. You're good at that. If it's not, I send the man back to my father with a message that he can stick his alarm in his wit's end. What's the issue between you two? There seems to be bad blood between you and your family. <laughs> Interesting turn of phrase. But you're correct. They don't care for my choices, nor I for theirs. Because you wouldn't get married. Because you left. That too. You should talk to him. I think you should meet with this retainer. Find out what your family wants. I didn't ask what you thought, did I? I'm telling you though. That that's the difference. Was unworthy, I apologize. There'd be no harm in hearing what this man of my father's has to say. If I don't like it, however, I want to leave. Fair enough. That works for me. I wonder how much my father paid this man to wait around just in case I showed. <sighs> we'll find out soon enough. Bring Dorian to the Gullen Lantern. That's there, isn't it? Got no idea where the Gullen Lantern is. What's this place called? Skyhold. Hmm. 
The Gullen Lantern. Right, I've got no idea where that is. Um, oh, Vivian, where is this wench? The only person I've got to see. Oh, she's on the balcony there. How the hell? Barrack bro, how do I get up there? Is this some kind of sick and twisted joke? He's on that balcony. Oh, there's a door here. Wait there. Don't think I've ever been in here. Fertile ground even here. This hold has everything. Bro, I don't know how to get to her. Plant new seeds. This is a nightmare. Why design your level like this? Well, how about that? Right. She's on this floor. Oh, there's a door there. Jesus wept. through the fade. Please tell me what you remember. I saw the divine my past. I had visions. Echoes of what happened to me the first time. The divine was there, or something like her. Manifestations of your own mind, perhaps? Or external memories awakened by your presence? I suppose there's no way to tell. No one else has physically entered the Fade since the Magisters assaulted the Golden City. Oh, I'm positively envious right now. How can you possibly oppose freedom for your own people? You live in the world, Inquis. The world is not made up of mages and temp... There are... Well, I just want to get through this. people want a larger share of the world, uncaring that they have already been granted great... Doesn't that up? Granting mages freedom doesn't take freedom from anyone else. But that's precisely what it does. The wolves howl and... And what do the sheep do? Panic. And the scent of their... It will take time. But people can learn not to fear magic. One cannot unlearn a... Pro I care... I... I... Yes, my dear? I want... Of course. What do you wish to... Rather than dissolving it, Grand Enchanter Fiona's vote split the... Sur if you leave... Grand... I could name myself Grand Enchanter. The same is true of people everywhere. Perhaps too permissive. Yeah, so I just I'm not interested in this at all. They could kill a war in which we would have done better to re anyone who did not wish to support. What is it? Do you think that you and I might someday? <laughs> oh, don't be ridiculous. Right, okay. So we can't, I don't think we can get any favour with her. Now the last person we need to see is... What a jump, Sarah. And then we can call it an episode, and then we can just continue with the story. Sarah was... Spiderwebs here. stop the bleeding, and they prevent wounds from getting infected. Gather as many as you can. Just thing though, I can't recall where I heard that. I think I remember a young man. I hope I can help somehow. Maybe cleaning? Bro, why is everything so hard to find? Oh, she must be on the top floor. Oh, that's cold. We've got cold. I, forgot. I completely forgot this guy existed. No. But you like demons. I enjoy the company of spirits, yes, which is part of why I do not abuse them with bindings. 
It isn't abuse if I ask. Not always true. Also, I do not practice blood magic, which renders this entire conversation academic. He won't bind me. He's a mage and he likes demons, but he won't help. What's wrong? Why would you want Solus to bind you? So I'm safe. If Solus won't do the ritual to bind me, someone else could. Will. Like the Warden Mages. And then... I'm not me anymore. Walls around what I want. Blocking, bleeding, making me a monster. That's true for everyone. A mage using blood magic could conceivably do that to any one of us, human or demon. You should ask Solus to bind you too, <laughs> and then someone can bind him. We'll protect you. We'll find a way to keep you safe without binding you, Cole. I have a suggestion, if Cole is ready to listen. I recall stories of amulets used by Raveni seers to protect spirits they summon from rival mages. A spirit, wearing an amulet of the Unbound, was immune to blood magic and binding. It should protect Cole as well. The resources of the Inquisition could be used to find such a talisman. Let's do it. Good. They will not take me. Obtain the amulet for Cole. Right, well, we'll, we'll do that. But Error. From Haven's fire come we, the able troop, to Skyhold now, a fortress strong and free. We rally with our hero. Bro, she's not. You have she's not even here. The there were wardens in Kirkwall too. Oh, is that her in the back? Better you not know. As that way to be mine. Yes. She's here. Heard what went on in that fade thing. What you think went on. Can't even start to believe that business. Difficult time for everyone. I think a lot of people are having trouble with what went on there. People going on about visions and piss when real people are gone. Dead, probably. Stroud, yeah? Lost a serious moustache there. <laughs> and in trade, a busted down bunch of wardens. And they're always weird. Usually, bad stuff happens first, so you're glad when the hero shows up. But wardens are the wrong way round. They're the good thing that means a bad thing is about to happen. Like in Denerith, when the blight ended. What do you remember about that? A lot happened in Denerim. What did you see? People talked a lot about this one warden. There was a big fight and they died or... I don't know, maybe they didn't. The hero of Ferelden? You forget the hero of Ferelden. <laughs> that was ages ago. Ten years. I was playing with small painted boxes and burying stuff I stole. I remember more people cringing about magic than blight. Wardens were an excuse for your stuff to go missing. Blackwall's nice, though. Different from the adamant ones. Need more like him. Right, Blackwall's a good lad. Hey, you. I have an inquisitor favor to ask. What is it? Just a little thing, really. A little march around for some of your people. It's nothing for you, right? I'm listening. All right, let's hear what you've got. Jump right in, huh? I like that. It's a red Jenny thing. I got a tip that some noble stiffs are arguing over Vershell. Land squabble. They're getting little people beat up. So I need you to go to your big table and send some people to walk through town. Just walk through. Just walk through. Easy, right? Who are we working for? Who's asking for this? I'm asking because I heard people complaining. See, when nobles fight, it's not them. It's their little people stuck in the middle. It's like a polite war, so no one pays attention. But if you march through, the people up top feel threatened too. Stuff like this is always happening. Good sovereigns to be made if you're one of the few who notice. I'll do it. All right, Sarah. I'll have someone look into it. It's fun, right? 
Being important without doing a thing. Well, not much of a thing. Not everything has to be torn skies and ancient assholes. Every little thing makes a difference somewhere. Excellent. Now, one more person to speak to and I actually know where... Oh, well, today what we'll do. We'll quickly check to see if Iron Bull and Cassandra have got any extras because they dragged us to different places, didn't they? Ah, uh, you've been training. You're really making the most out of that armor. I focus more on offense, Mike. Only so much defense I can do, right? What about you? What made you decide to turtle up? I want to be unkillable. I want to take the hardest blow an enemy can land, look him in the eye, and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And while you do that, I can move in on the flank and hamstring him. Killing an enemy is good, but embarrassing him first is even better. Anyway, did you need anything, or just come by the talk shop? Goodbye. See you later. Nice talking with you, boss. Right. So it looks like we've exhausted the dialogue with everybody. We need to check on Cassandra. Then Black Wall, then we're done. And that is everything done. I understand if resources cannot be spared to help search for the missing seekers in Quisitor. Oh, no, no, no. Still, it could involve a threat we are unaware of. There may be a use in... I want your advice. Do you have any advice? Now that the Grey Warden threat is dealt with, we must investigate the assassination plot. One can only hope it's not too late. That's an... Um... Right, well, the good thing is we've, we're actually going to get that mission complete. So, Black Wall it is. It's crazy because, well I think I've said it before with this, it's nice having a massive stronghold like this, but having the NPCs so far apart is, it's a bit of a nightmare. Like it's taken me, what, nearly an hour just to speak to these guys. Master Dennett. Where's Blackwall? Uh, Blackwall? Am I missing something here? Feels good to be back at working because mountain air like this, not healthy for many animals. Oh, he's standing outside? His, his icon's not even where he stood. Someone I knew once described Adamant to me. Adamant is and always will be the Order, he said. A guardian on the edge of the abyss. The lone soul that stares into oblivion and doesn't waver. That's what Warden Commander Clorel tried to be. Well, they all tried to be. I'm told her wardens never wavered. They went to their deaths willingly. They died for us. And Corypheus twisted their sacrifice to make it his own. And that's why we fight him. And that's why he has to die. You'll get no argument from me. There's no one to blame but Corypheus. Even Clorel's intentions were righteous. I agree. The desire to protect was so great it led her astray. It's not right. To want to do good, to be good, and have that turned against you. Then remember the intention. Don't think of what went wrong. Think of their intentions, their sacrifice, honor their selflessness. Clorel made mistakes, but she was a great woman, and she died a great woman. It's not the armor or the trappings of the order. It's not the joining at the heart of it. All a warden is, is a promise to protect others, even at the cost of your own life. True words. I've, I, I actually have the same sentiments as Blackwall about the wardens. As you well know. This, this is just, it's something to keep their hands busy. 
I'm grateful you tracked me down when you did. As exciting as Wandering the Woodlands was, this is better. It's good to be part of something so important. Something that could change things. I'm glad. I'm pleased that you feel that way. Makes me sound like a Chantry sister, doesn't it? Some giddy new initiate. But so be it. I suppose you've earned my loyalty and girlish enthusiasm. Fantastic. You are who you choose to follow. Someone told me that once. Took me years to understand what he meant. Wise words. There's wisdom in that. It was a chevalier who said those words to me. A powerful man, but never without honor. A true knight. We met as competitors in the Grand Tourney. He left me with that advice before we parted. Put aside his own ambitions to help me win the melee. I don't think I even thanked him. What is this Grand Tourney? You've never heard of it. The Grand Tourney of the Free Marches. It's a spectacle. Song, dance, wine, every amusement you can imagine. <laughs> but the greatest part is the contest of arms. Prove yourself in the Grand Tourney, and you can make your fortune. How did he help you? There were a hundred men on the field, each one fighting for himself. The knight and I had forged an alliance. It was just the two of us, and we took all comers. The goal? Down as many opponents as possible. He always let me deliver the final blow. Was generous. That was generous of him. He said I stood to gain everything. Well, he'd lose nothing. When it was over, he offered to mentor me. To teach me to become a chevalier like him. And I, young and stupid, turned him down flat. I just won the melee at the Grand Tourney. I didn't need him. <sighs> that was brutal, Black Wall. I should have gone with him. Perhaps things could have been different. They all turned out well, though. You're here now, a Grey Warden. It worked out. I suppose it did, didn't it? But I'm older, hopefully wiser. And I think I've chosen the right person to walk with. I think you have as well. That's it. Service. Let's blitz through this. Ah, the warden. Short answer. Stick it with swords until it stops moving. It can't be that simple. I suppose you know. Wardens are in all the stories. No, it re it just. There's no short answer for. I know what Corypheus is. It's not always about just Archdeacon. You're you rolling during? the blight. I was in Ferelden, on my own, like always. Quietly killed my fair share of Darkspawn too. You haven't had contact with. It's what I've always. Besides, I bought. Let's can. As you will. Right there we go. Ah, oh, that feels good. We've got all of the conversing out of the way. Only one thing left to do. We'll hit up the war table. We'll. Get all the quests that we've already done in. And we'll send our people out for some more. So we can start next episode. And I think we'll have some companion quests to do by the sounds of it. Because that's what the war table missions are going to get us. But let's make sure we do the missions on the war table that are all for our companions this time. We've got to go meet Dorian. Dorian's family as well in... A, a pub somewhere, it sounds like a pub, but I, I don't know where it is. Brand. A fine plan, might suggest that apples be part of the hunt. A boar choked on apples has sweeter flesh, or so I hear. Nice. I think that's a weapon. Revenge of the Merchants Guild. Hard and high town, a worthy dwarf. My name is Varric Theris, and I'm a bronto licking backstabber who steals customers. Obtain the amulet. Oh, we need to obtain the amulet for coal. We have to do that. We located the seekers. Good. Right. We have to do this amulet for coal. 
We can either use Josephine or Liliana. What about... Missing Assassin? Our soldiers handled themselves well in Adamant. We've come a long way since Haven. The name of our enemy. We can send anybody for that. According to Dorian, it might be possible to discuss who Corpheus once was. Knowing he was a human could make him less attractive. Bribe the man with gifts and favours. This is normal for Tevinter and what he expects. Go around him. I can send an agent to infiltrate the archive and find what we need. <sighs> what I'm going to do is let's Google this. The name of our enemy. I want to make sure we get this. I don't think it matters, but I'm just double checking. Makes no difference. It makes no difference. And that's for Sarah. Okay, so we can do all three of these missions. So we need to use Cullen, Leliana, I've lost it. Cullen, Leliana, and Josephine for this one. Josephine. Hmm. Riviana can't see these amulets are held dear. They are willing to help us. Right. Josephine. At your service. Colin Send people to walk through, that's good. And then Liliana for this. And that's gonna be all of the side quests for our companions done. When we get back and begin next episode. Okay. Oh, that was a lot. A lot of dialogue to get through, but we did it. It had to be done. It had to be done, right? We'll call an episode there, lads. When we come back, I think we're going to try and tackle all of these companion quests. It's going to be exciting. See you in the next one, lads.